This is the plaintiff, Denise Shores. She says she was driving down the road near a golf course, and out of nowhere, her car was struck by a golf ball. The defendant hit an errant shot, smashed her windshield, and he refuses to pay for a new one. Well, today is judgment day, because the defendant did her wrong. He's not doing the right thing, and she feels she has an airtight case for the $281.16 she's owed. This is the defendant, Roland Graziani. He says he didn't do anything wrong or negligent. He was just playing golf and hit a bad shot. The plaintiff knows she was driving by a golf course. He told her she should go through her insurance, but she didn't. She decided to pay cash for her new windshield instead, so that's on her. He's accused of not yelling for. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says she was driving by a golf course when a ball sailed over and smashed her windshield. But the defendant says it was just a bad shot and the plaintiff took the risk. It's the case of Iron Man. Okay, thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Denise Shores, yes. you are suing Roland Graziani for $281.16, a cost to repair a windshield that got shattered when he hit a golf ball at your windshield. Well, I guess that's not what he was hitting towards. No that wasn't the plan. That was not the master plan, but that's what ended up happening. Yes. Okay, talk to me. What happened? Well, I was driving up the road, and out of nowhere, like, the golf ball just shattered my windshield. Could you see the golf course? Y yes, the yeah. golf course is right. adjacent to the road. All right. Um, have you ever seen that happen before? I personally haven't seen that happen before, and I've lived next to the golf course for almost 15 years now. I find golf balls in my yard all the time, but. Right. Ooh, lucky you. Um, <laughs> what happened? Why don't you play better? What happened? <laughs> Are you spending enough time working on your game? Yes, I am. Uh, is she a golf widow or isn't she? Definitely. Totally? Like, do you want to be more of a golf widow so maybe he could aim a little better? What happened here? <laughs> I just pulled what? it left and. Uh, uh, How close is the, the hole to the street? Like, what's the. Uh, I have a picture here. Yeah, let me see. The first one is of the green. Okay. Wow, that is mighty close, huh? It's about 160 yards. No, I didn't mean. I didn't mean from the tee to the green. Oh, okay. I meant from the tee to the street where her windshield is. Yeah. Oh my God, spoken like a golfer. <laughs> Listen, dude, you ca you came here on the wrong day. All right, because uh, if I become any more of a golf widow, I will become a widow. Man, it's just so close. The tee and the green are both so close to the street. Yes. Your Honor, I also have pictures. Let me see. Thank you. So what happened, once that happened, did you know who had hit the ball? Well, I had pulled over immediately, and he came, when I was getting out of my car, he was walking down the street, coming, t I'm coming assuming to, to you. Yes. Okay, so you noticed that you did it. Yes. Did, did the guys make fun of you, or were uh, you playing along? <laughs> no, not really. Uh, no, they didn't make fun of you, or no, you weren't playing alone? Would uh, they weren't making fun of me. Okay. It's happened before. Okay. <laughs> Has it happened before to you? Not to me, no. Okay. So you walk over there, and what does he say to you? He says, oh, sorry, and he said, um, if you don't have glass insurance on your, you know, your auto insurance, we'll file it through my homeowner's insurance. So he wanted me to file it on my car insurance. And, and you said? Well, at the time, I was nervous and whatever, so I was like, okay, you know, let me check and see if I have glass coverage. So he gave me his name, his number, his address, and then later that day, I was like, I didn't think it was fair that I had to pay through my car insurance. So what'd you do? You ended up calling? Well, I called Safe Flight and I got a quote, and it was like, it ended up being over three hundred dollars, but it I ends up the whole, the thing starts spidering, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't drive yes, it like that. All right. I mean, and I can, ended up getting a um, like a local company to do it. So what happened? Did you, when you, did you call him after you after you fixed the glass? And I say called him before I had the glass fixed, and he would not return my phone calls. Right. So then you have the glass fixed, and then what happens? And then yeah, and then I sent him a certified letter with a copy of the receipt, saying this is what I paid. You know, please contact me. And he contacted me with a letter saying he wasn't responsible. And Let me see the letter. 
Did, when you walked over to her, you obviously you felt bad because you were walking yes. over to her to take oh, responsibility yeah. or whatever. And um, did you say to her, if insurance doesn't pay for it, I'll cover it? I don't remember saying that, but I did ask her if she had insurance. And uh, what, she said, I'll let you know what was going on. Right. But why would she want to go through her insurance to fix the window that you just broke? Not sure. Exactly. <laughs> like, what well, you know. But then she went out and fixed it because she says you were ignoring her. I was out of town. And okay. I, well, in my letter, so she I fixed it. She can't drive like that. She can't leave the car like that. So she fixes it. And then your, your reason for not reimbursing her is what? So suppose the ball hits the car uh, because it was a bad shot. Who's responsible, the golfer or the golf course? I think the golfer for sure. I'm sorry, it's really unfortunate, but they did ruin the car. They have to pay for the damage. But is there some assumption of risk when you drive by a golf course? That's the question. It's a golf lean over, lean over, lean over. It's a golf cor course's responsibility once the ball goes off the course. So it, the, the golfer didn't know where the ball would go, so it's the golf course's responsibility. Fair enough, going inside the courtroom. I was told by other people that hit uh, other cars that uh, their insurance paid. That whose insurance paid? The, the person who owned the car. But that doesn't decide who's, whether you're liable. Did you speak to a lawyer before you no. told her that you're not liable? Okay. No. Um, yeah, I live in Florida. In Florida, we have a lot of land between the the, <laughs> the green and the tea and the and the street. We, you know, so um, this doesn't happen much. This is so so close, and um, do, I, I presume that a lot of golf courses will have either nets or fences or something over there. But in any event, that's not our facts. Our facts are you hit a ball, you broke a window. Pay the lady for the window. I'm ruling in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of two hundred and sixty-seven dollars and sixty-eight cents. Good luck. Don't tell my husband. And then here he comes, obviously not Ar Arnold Palmer right here. Uh, what's, what's your feeling on the ruling now? It's, it was your fault. I, I did hit her, and uh, I think she needs to prove I was negligent or I was uh, irresponsible or I was reckless, and well, I was not. No, it, all she proved was that you can't hit a what? Six iron, was it? Uh, eight. <laughs> eight iron, you can't hit an eight iron. What, too much right hand, you think? Uh, a little bit. All right. Uh, next time, what do you do when you're in that same aim, spot? Aim right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, head right down this all right, way. Right down. All right, so step on in here. and um, All right, so you win your case. Uh, what, what's your comment on this now? Well, I'm just happy that the judge saw it my way. Do you drive on that road? Every day. Okay. What do you do next time you're coming down that same way, that same hole? What are you, you going to do next time? Watch out for the golf ball. Well, right. If somebody's on the tee, <laughs> what if somebody's on the tee? You can't really see it when you're coming up the road. Right so you're just going to risk it. it every time? Yep. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Harvey. You know, I got to tell you, golf courses can be responsible if they don't have the precautions like nets and setbacks and whatnot. By the way, you guys aware when the TMZ uh, celebrity tour, we've seen Justin Bieber skateboarding down the street. Did you know that? We have seen uh, Kim Kardashian multiple times waving at the bus. We have seen Samuel L. Jackson. We have seen Rihanna. Am I impressing you? Yeah. Okay. See you next time.